Hello, my name is George Kubik. I am president of the Anticipatory Futures Group here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm Arthur Harkins. I'm an associate professor of education and sociology at the University of Minnesota. Storytech is an adaptation of an ancient human cultural capability, which is to gather information together and convey it to oneself and principally to others in the form of a narrative that goes from A to Z. In other words, it completes a cycle of events that inform other people about the connection among those elements. There are two kinds of stories, the big S and the little s. The big S story is what you're most commonly familiar with. It's a very formal way of telling stories. You, you envision this uh, through um, uh, movies, through books, etc. These are ways of presenting a formal story. We're talking more about the informal story, the small s, the type of story that is personalized by you and for you. And we might say that our way of adapting stories to story tech was through the tradition of Zen and partially Zen and partially through the tradition of Shinto. Shinto is a Japanese animism format that enables the culture to create uh, living entities that, that are virtual in nature but appear to be living out of inanimate objects such as volcanoes and to talk to the dead. And in our case, using Storytech to talk to people from the future who are not even born yet. The important thing about Storytech, as Art has mentioned, is that it is a virtual concept. It allows an individual or individuals to participate in alternative futures, to create those futures and to rehearse them in whatever context they project. So what we have here is a conversational or dialogic process, a soft technology, if you like, which can be used only by one person or in some cases where George and I have been involved, up to nearly 1,000 people. So how does it work? It, it's a written process after you get to thinking about it, but before you sort of <laughs> can write it down, you have to think about it. You have to create the story narrative and the story direction. Normally these sessions begin with a very simple question. Put yourself in some future context and develop that context to be meaningful to you and to others. Uh, it's a way of projecting yourself. It's very naturalistic, very simple, very easy to use. And non-threatening. We always have said, and I've been in story tech consulting work for 24 years, we always have said don't tell a story to yourself or other people that's threatening because that's not where we want to go. We want to find out what's deep in the implicit knowledge or the tacit knowledge base of the individual and the group that can be brought out through story tech and can be used successfully in, say, the development of policy or the application of policy. You, you may be interested in how story tech works as a practice, as a, as a soft technology. Well, here's a plain old white styrofoam cup. Take a look at it and tell me what you see in your mind. Of course, you can't do that the way we're not connected, but in your mind, you'll see a white paper cup, and then your mind will say that's a white cup. Now, can you, through your imagination, change the color of this cup to yellow? Now, I've never found in 24 years of consulting anyone who couldn't do that, or who was threatened by changing the color of the cup to yellow in their mind. So now, now that this cup is yellow, can you paint a happy face on it? Okay, now we have a yellow cup with a happy face. Now, ask it if it enjoys being a yellow cup with a happy face. Now we've just taken a jump upward in complexity. Some people have difficulty with that, maybe 10%. The other 90% really don't have difficulty, and they come up with an answer. Their cup tells them the answer. But, bottom line, it's not the cup talking. It's another aspect of the individual's personality talking to the individual. So the individual has created a file called Yellow Cup with Happy Face. Ascribe to that file the capacity to articulate and then listen to what the cup says, although it's all happening in the same, same nervous system of that individual. The book itself is divided up into a number of chapters. Um, what we want to point out, this is not a scholarly book. It's a practice, a handbook for use. We want it to be able to be used very easily and very quickly by anyone, anywhere. Please note that the virtual concept that we're explaining here is ubiquitous. It's found in every individual. It's found in every society that has ever existed. The capability to 
manifest seemings, uh, projections of alternatives that may not exist, is inherent in all individuals. Um, more importantly, it's across all dimensions of human activity, whether that's social, organizational, individual, whatever context you may encounter. Uh, StoryTech is a very useful and applicable uh, system that you can use at very low cost or no cost at all.